What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you my loadout. And first I'm going to start off with boots. Alright now for footwear I've got Belleville Tactical Boots. It says they're authorized by US Army and Air Flight. Uh, so I guess they're real. I got them at a surplus store. And if you got big feet like I do, these are perfect. I wear a size 15 so it's kind of hard to find. Next are the BDUs. Alright for the pants I got Rothko Multicam. And for the shirt, I've got also got Rothko Multicam. It's a battle shirt. Got to have your American flag pat and your other awesome patches. Up next is the belt. Now, what I keep on my right side on my belt is my holster, just a cheap fabric, uh, universal holster, and then the Elite Force 1911 Tac CO2. And on my left side, I've got a dummy grenade, which I made a PVC cut PVC pipe just where it'd snap in and uh, you can just pop it out and throw it anywhere you want next are the gloves now I wear mechanics nothing but mechanics not had anything wrong with these these are just original mechanics wear I got them in tan what we're gonna take a look at next is the plate kit this is an Emerson multicam JPC on the right side we've got a pistol mag pouch it's a 1911 mag in there I spray painted a phone case, that way I can put my phone in there and still be tactical. Just in case I want to take pictures, put on Facebook or Instagram, anything like that. On the front, of course, mag pouches, American flag patch, and just in case, I got a uh, Smith & Wesson knife right there I can just pull off, and a carabiner. On my left side, radio pouch, and on the back I've got utilities pouch pretty much just for anything you really want to put in there I, th I keep screwdrivers and electrical tape in there on the back I don't have anything up next is my head setup my multicam hat is a true spec for lower face I've just got a mesh mask spray painted Punisher on there and for my goggles I've got mesh goggles but I wear glasses so I took my old glasses lens and I just hot glued them in there. Use antifog and it just works perfect. Last but definitely not least, I've got an SR10 made by KWA. I've got a replica holographic up here that I spray painted like a dust tan. And then I've got four tan rail covers. These are actual Magpul, so they're high quality. That's it for my loadout. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next Thursday.